What's up guys, welcome back to this new tutorial video presented by Ikea Codec, your best tech channel. So it has actually been very very long that you guys have not been seeing me on YouTube, reason that I was actually working on a project. But happy to announce that actually I am back, so I hope you guys are doing well and hope you guys are enjoying the platform, enjoying our videos. So first of all, we are first of all grateful for you guys that made us the milestone of 3,400 subscribers. We are very grateful for that and please in the video of today we are going to be looking at a particular aspect which is on android emulator so i found out that most of you guys actually have problems with my last video that i released which was the best android emulator for low end pc so today we are going to be looking at the best android emulator for high end pc and i think you guys are going to say it's nox but it's not nox so I did some researches and i contrast and compared and i saw that there was an android emulator that was better than nox so that's what we're going to look in this video. So I'm going to show you guys the best Android emulator, which is actually the LG Player 4, which it had just, which was released this year. And I'm going to look at the best settings in order to reduce, to re remove lags and crash while you're playing your games. And this Android emulator is very, very good for any type of game, which actually run like Berk Mobile, Free Fire, Call of Duty Mobile. So all the games you actually dream on playing on your Android device. This Android emulator let you game it on your PC. So please, if it's your first time on iCare Codec, I'll plead the I'll plead with you that please click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay tuned with my latest update. So see you next after the intro. So actually, as I said in the intro of the video, we're going to be looking at the LG Player 4 with an Android emulator that was just released, the latest version was released this year and we have the 4 version. So LG Player is one of the most good emulator I've ever used because I myself I thought that it was Nox but after doing some researches, I found out that Nox was not even close to LG Player. It's just that at the last time I could have done a video contrasting the two of them but I guess I'm going to do a video so you guys can actually see the difference between Nox and LG Player and by yourself you can see that LG Player is the best. So I'm going to show you guys, since this is one of the emulators that is more widely used in the world, so I'm going to show you guys how to actually optimize your LG player to actually reduce lags while playing games and crashing while playing games, games like Bug Online and games like Call of Duty Mobile and other Free Fire Arena Free Fire. So please, for this you just need to download the LG player, which this year is the latest version as you can all see. So, this version was just released, this is the latest version, so for this, I'm going to provide a link in the description for you. So, and the LG player actually runs an Android version of 7, which is actually the Nogat, runs an Android version of 7 and comes with a space of, let us say, of 16GB, but take note, this space is actually optimizable, so don't figure that 16 gb is actually small for this, so you can see. The Android version is 7.12, which is an Android version of Nogat, so there's Android version of this player and take note compared to blue stars which actually heavy loaded and compared to Mimu which actually crashes whereas Mimu also has this, the no guard version but actually has a lot of google crashing errors so after running so let me look let us look at the space i was telling you guys the space is you can see the space is 32 so actually the space is 16 from z4 but i just increase it so first of all the first thing to take note after downloading this emulator is for how, what PC are you running it on? So my PC actually right now I'm using a Windows 7, so actually I'm using a Windows 7 computer. So I'm using a Core i7 and I'm using a, a graphic card of GTX 970, which is 4GB dedicated memory. So that's my PC configuration. So now it depends on yours, but I'm going to look at this thing as a global way in order to reduce the lags and and crashing upon this emulator because it is true that emulator can use enough resources if you permit it to do so first of all let us go in the settings because this is where everything is going to happen so the setting the first time you're going to see it advanced so advanced let me tell you what advanced is so advanced here to you have to have the best from LG player to have the best at least the best as I said the best so what you do is go well that you so you, you can you are free to customize or actually to take the tablet mode but I would suggest you take the exact screen resolution of your monitor in order to have the best performance. That will also go to the CPU. So my CPU is actually 4 cores. So take note you take the 4 cores if your computer actually 
support the four calls but if you are running a higher so you can actually go up to six calls depending on you and now for the ram you can see the ram is actually recommended the gb ram so feel free of adding it so you can go up to four my computer is using eight gigabytes so with lg player the secret behind lg player is that you should be able to actually give it enough resources same as what your pc is using so don't limit it in such a way that you should only have its own setting so it should be exactly what you are using on your pc so you can see i'm running I'm using 8 GB RAM so I can actually add this RAM to actually have the best performance in terms of gameplay while I'll be playing my games. And yes, the actual this is a cool fact about LG player which actually allows you to customize the space needed for your Android emulator. So you can see you are free to automatically you can actually choose it automatically expand when there is no enough space or you're going for the manual expand space which actually did ask you to actually input the space you wish. So you can see I put 32 and you saw that when I went to setting you actually saw 32 GB. Now moving at the models actually yeah you don't need to touch nothing here it's already good for that. And now here yeah, another aspect of this so here yeah, is where the rating comes. So now you can see the setup actually is already best when it's at 60 but feel free to go above 60 if you actually love ultra gaming depending on the computer hardware you are using. So as I said earlier I am using a 4 GB graphic card. So if you actually check here, you can see advanced option enable vertical signal to prevent skin tendering suitable for high performance computers. So this advanced option, which is actually it has been said that it is suitable for high level computer. And you can also see here we have the enabled high frame rate. It only applies to the following games. Please enable it if other apps go wrong. So you can see here the games that actually support this high frame rate mode. But now looking at if you go down here, you can see a very good parameter depend on the bulk mobile and the bulk army so here you can see the set resolution when it is greater than or equals 180 mount acceleration is off and you can see now we have the 720 pixel which is actually the default and this for to actually achieve this for your graphic card should be at least of one gigabyte dedicated but now you can see the other settings if you actually want the 2k resolution you can see we have the 2k which actually the if you graphic card it must be if greater than or equals to the GTX 906 which is actually a good graphic card or if you want to want an 80p screen you can actually use the this you can see it's clearly said that graphic card should be greater than or equals to GTX 750 so on my own case as I said earlier I am using a graphic card I'm using an GTX so yet yeah, is you can see I'm using but a GTX 970 so on my own case I am free to actually take this 2k resolution so if i use a 2k so you need to select the corresponding keyboard mapping in order to actually use it so yeah that is true so after confirming the keyboard mapping are actually automatically going to change because you took the 2k but one thing you should note about this 2k is that if your monitor does not support the 2k please just leave it at that stage of you can actually take the 180 p or you take the 720 which is by default but if you know that you have a monitor that actually support the 2k resolution feel free to go in for the gtx 960 greater than above so and you can see lg player is very very customizable you are actually free to change your the, the, the forms and the wallpaper so that's what so i'm not going to go out of subject so that is it so the main part of this video is that you should take note of this at game setting and the advanced tab because this is where everything is going to get played into so as i said earlier make sure you set everything as exactly your computer uses it so if you have a monitor let us see as a, for example you see my monitor as soon as solution i'm using a monitor 160 80 by 150 so you set it exactly on your lg player as the same so now on the course set exactly as the course running on your cpu so my cpu is a quad core yes running and so that's why i set it to the four core and for the ram i can actually set it up to four gigabyte but feel free you can customize you can see there's a customizable tab there for you to customize for the resolution but for the ram it would actually take four which is actually the best limit for this but now for the disk management you are free to actually allow lg player to expand your disk space when is no more enough or feel free to manually manage the disk space yourself and as a clean up cage you actually clean up all the cages of the application found on your lg player so i think that is all about this so after doing it because some of you actually set these things such a way that it's either you set 
the LG player setting higher than your computer performance or it's setting lower than your computer performance and that will actually create some lags in your games and some crashing of your game but once LG player settings are actually synchronizing with what you are running on your PC I show you you're going to have the best gaming performance with all your games played on LG player so please go in for this Android emulator and you guys are not going to regret it and you can see there's also a gamepad connector once a gamepad connector is connected actually automatically get integrated with the LG player which allows you to now play games without using the keyboard mapping function but using your keyboard using your, your joystick immediately so that is it so please that was all about the video and please if you have any problem regarding this video please the comment section is actually free give me feel free to comment anything you have as issue anything you have as recommendation anything you face as problem or anything you have as suggestion for our next video so happy viewing hope you guys enjoy the video see you next on my next tutorial where we are going to be talking on a mobile trick so see you in my next tutorial have a nice day bye